Pizza time. Everyone loves pizza. Look at this, grease free. That Look at that good. lean. It bounced around because of Ruben White Domino's. Mmm. 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 Domino's Australia, they're vegan pizzas. Spicy veg trio, no cheese. Veg ramen, no cheese. Dink pan, gluten free, classic deep pan, all vegan bases. So, not bad. Not bad, I got four. One. Cheap ass Tuesday, too, huh? Two. Three. Four. Test taste that one. It's cheap ass Tuesday, isn't it? Mm. No time to from here, man. Cheap ass Tuesday. It's and that's just every day, five dollar pizza in Australia. So, you can do your low carb diets. I'm carving the fuck up. I'm enjoying life. I ain't restricting. I ain't having to drink little lattes as a calorie strip. I ain't have to do nothing. Cause stay lean. Just eating well, training well. I have to curb my training so I don't get too lean. You know? Every day, you get people going, too lean, too lean. So, I have to eat more, train less. Simple as that. Long term, baby. Long term. Hormones. Hormone. <laughs> not your mum. In all serious, though, in all serious, um, I do get to enjoy my food. And you see these people, you see these even pro athletes, man. Pro, I mean, I'm, as, I'm lean enough to do the Tour de France. If you line me up, any Tour de France GC contender, I'm lean enough to be standing on the podium and look at the place. Obviously, I can't write that well, but phys physically, I look like a fucking meth addict or a Tour de France champion, all right? From 20, 30 years ago up to today. But I don't have to count a strip because I'm not listening to an uh, overweight teen nutritionist who would have no fucking idea about weight loss because that nutritionist isn't even lean themselves, all right? So what you have is you have these professional athletes posting Instagram shots or Twitter or whatever, it's just like a little meal, saying, oh, this what I have for dinner or for breakfast. They have to starve. And even half the time they're binging out, and not proud of it, they're not really showing what they eat. So when you see that little meal, they're not really eating that, they're eating a lot more than that. But they're sort of saying, this is what I should be eating, but I fucking can't because my nutritionist has no fucking idea. If your nutritionist is fat, then why are the fuck are you listening to them? Why? If your nutritionist can't ride 500 kilometers in one day, mm. it's not hard to do. 150 watts of 5 in a K, it's not fucking hard. If your nutritionist can't do that, then they wouldn't have a, and without any stimulants, no caffeine, nothing, no pingers, if they can't do that, they wouldn't have a clue about stamina or endurance or the mental side that it takes to get there. 500 Ks in 24 hours and 150 watts, it's not too hard, man, especially if you've been riding for a couple of years. Most of these nutritionists don't even fucking ride. They have no idea what it takes. So how the fuck? Are they giving nutritional advice? Oh, because they got a piece of paper in university. I don't want a piece of paper. I want fucking results. I don't want to enjoy my food and eat abundantly and perform well without having a lot of gear. There you go. No hormones.